Thank you, President Bartlett. Thank you, sir. President Bartlett and Nabala will take just a few questions. President Bartlett, Katie. this is a summit among leaders of American pharmaceutical companies and the AIDS-ravaged African nations that President Nabala is representing here. Is there a political upside to only having President Nabala at this photo op and not the pharmaceutical companies? Yes, Katie, I'm trying to shore up the sub-Saharan vote. Uh, Mr. President, are you considering asking Congress to forgive existing debt? It's an international health crisis. There's nothing I'm not considering. Arthur? President Nambala, what's the best you could hope to come away with from this summit? What's a home run? America. There are people who make miracles in the world. One of them lives right here in the U.S. He realized that vital elements could be harvested from the stalk of the wheat. In his hands, India, which at the time had been ravaged by drought and overpopulation, in his hands, their wheat crop increased from 11 million tons to 60 million tons annually. That's right. His name is Norman Borlaug, by the way, and he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970. Thank you, Mr. President. President Nambala, thank you, everyone. It was called dwarf wheat, which produces heavy yields without its stalk falling over from the weight of the grain. Was it a hybrid? What am I, Farmer Bob? It was wheat and there was more than there used to be. Okay. And high You ever read Paul Gerlich's book? The Population Bomb? Yeah. He wrote it in 1968. Ehrlich said that it was a fantasy that India would ever feed itself. And Norman Borlaug comes along. See, the problem was the wheat is top-heavy. It was falling over on itself, and it took up too much space. The dwarf wheat. Guys, it was an agricultural 